Mike from Jetpack CRM. I wanted to spend a few minutes just going through how to add a contact to the CRM via the API. So the first thing to do is to check you have the API module enabled. So under core extensions, make sure that the API is ticked. So you get to that via tools and then manage extensions. And then secondly, you want to go to the CRM settings. And then the API tab. And then generate your API credentials. So these are ones I generated earlier. And you have your endpoint, your API key, and your API secrets. And a link to the documentation for how to add any additional um, custom fields or anything like that. So I've got this set up in Postman. So again, I've added the endpoint, the API key, and the API secrets as variables to the Postman collection. And then if creating the contacts, it's the create underscore customer question mark API underscore key equals, and then your API key and API secret equals API secret. So then you have your data in a JSON format. So Jane Doe. And then this is the data you send. So you can send whatever status you want. And then city, any city that you want. And then custom field, you could like hair color, blonde. So then this is sent on a post request to the endpoint. And then it will return the ID of the contact if it's a success to the CRM. So what you can see on here is contacts for you all. And Jane, Jane Doe was added as a lead to the CRM. And custom fields, the hair color was added. And the, the rest of it was blank, so we didn't pass all of the data. Um, so if you do want to add extra variables, there's the API reference, so you can pass as much data. This will populate the, the vitals. And then if you want to assign any more custom fields, you have the slug of the custom field and then the value of the custom field. And so you can see that in the Postman collection here, that it was the slug was hair color and the value was blonde. So that adds the contact to the API. So that's how you add the contacts. So you add contacts via the API, make sure it's enabled and you are good to go. If you get any errors, so if you get anything like input error one, then that generally means that the data hasn't been sent in the correct format. So it needs to be a JSON array like this. So open curly brackets and then the, um, the keys and then the values, and then it, it should send through. If it doesn't and you're still getting any other errors, again, I just check the data. You might have a extra comma in the wrong place or you may have missed a double air quote when setting up the data. And so that's how to do it via Postman. If you are doing it via PHP, then you would just need to encode your array as a JSON data before you send it to the API and then it will return the same. So if it's a success, it will return the same ID as the contact and it is related to the email. So if I went in and changed a bit of data, so this person now has black hair, you'll see it will return black 